Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands and a Radio, where we take a conversational first impression look at inexpensive shortwave radios and other stuff. Today kind of falls under, not really other stuff, just not under $20. I have not heard about this one. For all the, the time that I've been doing this, I've not heard of this model. And somebody a few weeks ago commented and said, I, it was on somewhere, they said, oh, the best radio I've ever had in my entire life, the best radio in the entire universe is the Texan PL210. And I said, self, why have I not heard of this one? And I looked it up and sure enough, it's a real thing. <laughs> It's one that is, there's only maybe three models that I haven't looked at, and two of them are just way too expensive. Uh, the S8800, the S750, no, I'm sorry, the S2000, Texan S2000 and the Grundig S750. I'd like to look at an S2000. Uh, those are way, way, way too expensive. There's another one in the fours that I haven't looked at, a 450 maybe, I think. But the Texan PL210, hard one to find because I've never seen it. And I got the only one that's listed on eBay. Uh, I was the only one to bid on it, so I got it at a really good price. And uh, here we go. This is, this is super, super cool, I think. Comes from Universal Radio way back when. This was listed as, and let me throw it around, listed as an open box, new as an open box. No AC adapter is why they couldn't say it's brandly new. And there's some marks on the, the display a little bit, so it's not quite as new as they talk about, but I think it's good enough. Let me pin down my notes here, which I do have a plethora of notes in the wind, and I hope it's not too loud. The time's set almost correctly. It's close enough. This thing is just a little bit smaller than the PL310ET. Uh, this comes in at four and five eighths across, four and seven eighths inches tall. Uh, Let's see, four and seven, nine, nine, nine. oh no, 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 wait a minute, let me read these notes again. Four and five eighths across, or four and seven eighths if you count side to the knob, if you include the knob. Three inches tall, one and one eighth inch thick, it has a 21 inch antenna, there goes the box, there goes my notes, this is going to be almost fun. Uh, stereo earphones let me throw that out there before I do forget that piece has 1700 memories it also has 640 little indents here and 344 of those are actual speaker holes and did I mention 1700 memories all scattered out between 100 here and 100 there and 100 this and that and 344 holes for the speaker interesting we have a direct entry keypad, which I really like. This it operates just about like all the other Texans in this range, the 310, the 380, on and on and on. It does have the uh, automatic tuning search. It just does it all. This is just this is so neat, a neat little radio. And I just kind of look over the top of the camera to see where I'm going. Uh, the clock has an alarm feature, which we don't care about. Has your FM, AM, long wave. You can do your ATS search there. It's search and stores in a memory. Uh, short wave, A and B. If you hit the short wave down button, you'll scan through the entire short wave uh, band. If you hit the up arrow, you will only scan whatever meter band you're on, like the 31 meter band. You could just hit that and just go right in that, and that's it. Kind of cool. Uh, your button here for, I call it VFO or memory, uh, VF or memory, you can scan there. Page up and down your memories, they're all divided out into pages. You can read the manual online and get all the particulars about the memory pages and stuff like that. I try to keep things under 30 minutes and 
to explain all the memory pages would be more than I can probably do. Do have a snooze button, and also we have, if you long press this, it'll go into your light, display light. You can keep it on or turn it off altogether, whatever you want to do. Your numeric keypad does have some that are really hard to see, but some dual functions. FM set, you can set your uh, frequency range on that, 12 or 24 on the clock, uh, 9 or 10 kilohertz on AM battery. We can change from alkaline battery or rechargeable batteries. Very important that you read the instructions. Change that. Lock button, delete button for your memory. Hit that, delete whatever you want to delete. Kind of cool. The right hand side we have an absolute melted butter smooth tuning knob. Really like it. This knob also is dual function as it, it has fast and slow tuning. And I was like, Okay, well, how do I enact fast or slow tuning? Well, it's in the knob itself. If you turn it real slow, it says, oh, I gotta go slow tuning. If the faster you turn, then it says, oh, I gotta go fast. So it figures that all out for you. We have a tone switch, high and low. And we have FM stereo on or off. That's for the headphones. Volume wheel here. Backside, we have AA batteries in here. Uh, positive goes to the right have a little kickstand here that we can use to set the radio up on it's kind of cool standard fare short wave is 1711 to 299999 and that's about it for that on this side we have really interesting we have an antenna gain switch high medium and low and according to the manual High is normal. And then for weak signal or noise, if you're getting a lot of that, you can drop that down to, to M or L to reduce the interference. Kind of interesting, I thought. It is continuous tune, which I did not mention. And uh, I thought that was really interesting that you can get inside the different bands, 5850s and stuff like that. You can just get right to it, no problem at all. I better shut up. And we better get to looking until we got a lot to do. Where are we at first? Let's look at FM first. That'll be the easiest. We'll look at 88.7. I could do it 16 different ways. Don't care. We'll go this way. And we'll go that way. 88.7. Or 88 Old two hands can pay attention. Here we go. That's my my benchmark. Hooked up a long wire antenna, so that's handy. That's kind of my benchmark for if it can do that, it's a pretty decent FM radio. Turn things down here. We're just gonna roll through. Don't want to stop on any music. 93.1 will be a lot of chit chat. Uh, I'll say this. It's the first time I'd ever met uh, Stephanie Grisham. So you get an idea. Here's more uh, Indianapolis. See how it goes slow until I speed up. It's kind of, to me, to me, I want to switch. I want to uh, switch to set to fast tuning or slow tuning or whatever I want to do. I want to be in control of that. I don't want a radio to think, oh, he's turning fast now. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm turning slow, but you think it's fast. Anyway. ICOM 70, IC7300 is that way. The faster you tune the dial, the faster you go. you really got to get used to that. And it's okay. We're used to it. Like I said, I'm just zipping through this. Because I really don't want to get any copyright problems. 
After a break, they'll talk about getting their degrees. It's not all bad. And eh, nobody cares about FM, so let's go to AM. And what we can do is do a real rapid scan of this and see if it finds anything. I kind of have little doubts it'll do much. It is daytime. It's probably not going to find it. I didn't find anything. That's interesting. So it doesn't look like it's the most accurate knife in the block. We'll just do it manually then. There's WLW. But you can see the automatic tuning search didn't find anything. For the sake of time and everybody's attention span, which is getting shorter and shorter, there's our local station. Just hitting the highlights. 1390 Seymour. Highlights, excellent. So well, that's kind of cool. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to hook up the big antenna. I just don't think a 21 inch antenna is going to do a whole lot on shortwave. Maybe I am mistaken. There's 10 megahertz. You just heard that click in. Now let's just see what happens. Like I said, it's 12.30 or so, South Central Indiana. Conditions are not great. And we'll just roll through and take a look. Hopefully this does better than the, the medium wave search. I hope it does anyway. Let me close my rattling notebook here. Two hands, what kind of notebook do you use? It's called Black and Red. You can find them on Amazon. Yes, I've had people ask, what kind of notebook do you use? Oh, Pilot G2 Unlimited Pen. It's the only pen ever created that's worth a hoot. What else do you want to know? Haynes Boxers. I get asked some of the weirdest damn questions. Just completely out there questions. I should do a video on all the bizarro questions. It's not finding nothing. Ah, eh, well. I did read, and one of the reviews said the, the, which was it? Sensitive selectivity was kind of bad on this one. And for those of you that like to dive into that highly technical stuff, uh, they said it was not near as good as the 380. I'd believe that because right now it's not doing so good. But this came long before the 380, came before the 310. So I'm trying to see uh, the first review of it. I thought I'd look that up. Did I mention 344 holes for the speaker? I hope so. I thought I'd looked up when it actually came out, but it's been out a while, that's for sure. An oldie but a goodie. Now we're picking up steam now a little bit. Only seven stations, that's not very good. It is a good ball game listener, though. I listened to the ball game the other night on it, on FM. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all, really. Yeah, I think about seven as far as we're going to get. A little disappointing. But you can see it just rolls right through everything. That's kind of nice. I'm sure the results would be a little different at night. If you were out in a location like this at night, I'm sure it would probably shine. Daytime, there's just not a lot out there. And that's why I say this is just kind of an initial 
thought on all of it. Oh, I did also, you've got the dimensions of the 210. The 310 is five and a quarter by three and a quarter by one inch thick. So it's just a touch bit smaller than the 310. Not by much for size comparison. This looks more like a three by five card. He's everywhere. And that's that's all you got. Let's just I'm curious. Oops. Just curious. I heard our Cuban numbers lady earlier. There she is. So there's the Cuban numbers lady. So obviously the search doesn't work all that good. Yeah, we've heard all that. But to sit here and just spin the dial would take way too long. What we can do is 10 and then we can hit the button. Then we can hit the button here and just scan to the next station. Some, some say that's more accurate. I would probably agree. Cuban numbers lady. It is chilly, chilly out here. And then obviously the best way to do it is just very slowly turn the wheel and go that direction. That's your best choice. Again, I don't have time to do that out here. I'm too cold. But you can get a good idea of, hey, I like this radio or I don't like this radio. I really like it. I think it's very, very cool. Texan has, I don't think Texan has ever disappointed me. Uh, the DR920C, I wasn't blown away by it. It's a great radio. I just expected more. Kind of, oh, kind of like the uh, 398BT, Texan, what is it? Something. PL398BT, whatever it is, the one dual speakers of Bluetooth. I expected more. It's a great radio. I just had different expectations. So we're still not finding a whole lot. And uh, so there's only been a couple that have really, not disappointment, I, 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 I can't stress that enough. I, I've not had a Texan radio that I've been disappointed with. Just not blown away by some. I could mention one other one, but heads would explode too much if I mentioned the, the one that I sold. <laughs> Uh, just because there's better radios. Again, this is all just my opinion. And I, my opinion at the end of the day doesn't mean diddly-do. Diddly-do is a highly technical term for don't mean a thing. Cool little radio. I already know where I'm going with it. If you can find it for under $30, I'd buy one if it's in reasonable shape. This was under that, and then it just keeps going. We're just going to keep going until we tell it to stop. I don't think it'll... We can try 5 megahertz. I think it won't find it. Hey, there it is, 5 megahertz. Cool! Let's try 15. We know 10 worked. Excellent! Oh, now it's coming up even higher. Let's try 20. Let's be brave. Roll the dice. Oh, it wants to. But it's just not there. That's a good place to stop. Right there is your... 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 Whatever you want to call it. Your indicator. 
if you can do those WWVs and, and like that, it's a pretty good radio. I like it. And I'm just trying to think what I don't like about it. Eh, not much, really. It's kind of a cool radio. I like the, the, I wonder if we, the, the antenna gain switch, it, it does not doing much on that. It does do something, that's for sure. That's on low right now. Then there's normal, there's medium. Low, knocks it up. So it's kind of like an attenuator maybe or something like that. That's kind of interesting. Your tone. Okay, it just takes a second to, to kick in the gear. That's interesting. Cool. Cool little radio. I'm gonna scare the world here. Seven out of 10. I like it. I like it real well. I'd go just a touch higher, but there again, people would lose their mind if I did too much. Ooh, had the alarm on. That could be scary at 6.30 in the morning, wouldn't it? Uh, battery indicator there, it's full. Nice display. This doesn't have like the signal strength indicators on the 310 and and things like that so it's just it's just a basic analog radio that's what you got i like it anyway if you like the video give it a thumbs up probably i would say this will be the last video of this year probably the last video of the season i would say uh, it's just getting too ugly out here in the winter to try to mess around with this stuff so uh yeah, it's a good one to end on. I like it. I like it real well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Probably already said that. Hit the subscription thing, notification, all that stuff, that whatever. And uh, yeah, leave a, leave your civil comments uh, below. And uh, maybe you have a PL210 and, and uh, like it or don't like it or whatever. It's all good. And uh, we'll probably see you in 2020. Who knows what's going to happen in 2020? Boy, a lot of a lot of strange changes on YouTube that I'm reading about, and I don't know if your if your video doesn't fit a certain category, you can get fined. And if it you say it fits a certain category and they disagree, you're going to get fined. And I don't know what's going on with everything. We just do what we got to do until we can't do it no more so anyway pick up a decent radio go out and enjoy it hope you have a good holidays whatever they may be and we'll see you at the next review